bring maybe Ron out to help once you start braking. We might have to give Ron, you might have to come out and start loading these other trucks. Um, second week on site and um, things are going really great, We're really excited. We've got some awesome equipment out here working um, today and some great guys. So we're looking to ramp up our efforts and uh, taking down all the structures over the next uh, five months to six months and um, having a good project. project for Wellington and we are recycling all the concrete to be crushed and reused over site as they need to bring the whole site up. We have seven buildings here, about 18,000 tonnes of concrete so uh, for the next six months we'll be here cleaning, detailing and getting the concrete ready. So today on site we're waiting for our clearance on building B and then we're going to get into it with the high We've got steel cutting going on, strip out and some light um, asbestos removal on another building on site. Here we have one of the old packaging warehouses. The boys are just removing the asbestos to things now. We're going to knock over two of the internal walls, uh, the inside of the site. This is where we're going to do all our crushing. We'll use these nice big concrete walls as a barrier for sound, so we can, and also so we can rig up our watering system so that dust is in the pulp of any of the neighbours while we crush. Uh, very unique to Wellington crushing in such a tight space. So it's, we've had a few challenges, but we're now overcoming them with some really good solutions. in front of the uh, 35 tonne Hyrex that we've just fitted with a pretty much a hydraulic water blaster so every time we get some dust on site I can press a button in the cab and it sprays a fine mist out of four nozzles on the attachment it works really well at encapsulating the dust and keeping the dust down on site Hi, Peter Ward, Ward Demolition. We're about to start the demolition of this structure just behind me today. We'll cut the we'll cut the walkways off between the two the two structures. There's also a pipe that's um, a hazard that's got to be disconnected from the two, which will eat away with the machine. My boys are just inside at the moment prepping up some steel work so that we can carefully dismantle the roof structure because we're hoping to save as much percentage of, of sarking out of the roof as we possibly can get. It's beautiful native wood and if we can recycle it, that's very good. Okay, so we're over here at Imperial Tobacco today. Today we're hoping to push over the tower, which is behind me. So she's all go here. As well as our truck's still coming in, we want to try and keep the site sort of semi-open for as long as possible, and then we're pretty much going to close the gates, lock all the trucks off, and then we're all clear on the radio, and then we'll push the tower over. Drawing a lovely picture here, ran out of crayons, so I've done it in pen. So yeah, pretty much we're going to cut the cable that's on the back corner. and then that'll leave two cables sitting here. Then my next plan would be to cut this cable here. 
which is on that far building, building C I believe, and that'll leave the one cable that's going to keep it going in the direction we want it to go and that cable can stay on and attached. Marked out how far we think the tower is going to fall and then we've allowed another 25 metres on top of that, which will be in our exclusion zone. If we start pushing and it doesn't fall, you don't come in the area, you don't come for a look, you still wait. And the whole time, if we're having trouble getting it over, or for some reason it's giving us resistance, it's still a no-go zone. So once we've got all of that sorted, and we'll give an all clear, and we'll pretty much tip the tower over. So, it'll be a pretty cool day. A metre break, yeah, you got it. Today, is it recording? Okay, week four. Are we on week four? We are on week four. Dalton decided to push that over at Building C. So we're like a month ahead of schedule now. What we did was Dalton ran around with the little breaker, 20 ton breaker, popping all the columns around the whole edge. And then me, Ronnie and Dalton had our fingers up against it and just pushed it over. Took a couple of minutes to get it over but we got it. All gnarly, boom, done, dusted. Why are you pushing it over? So Ronnie can get at the roof make it easier for Ronnie to get the roof off, safer, and recycle the timber for Peter Ward so he doesn't kick my bum when I run it all over and load it out. Put that on there and show Peter. <laughs> Behind us you'll see all the timber we're, we're starting to recycle out of some of the buildings. Two of them have got beautiful Rimu sarking, so we've put a big effort into trying to save it. It's getting loaded onto the truck to go back to Auckland where we have a large list of people still wanting to buy timber to reuse in their homes. So it's good to see some of this old native timber get recycled because it's just not available like it used to be. Bailey, you need to write me something and just put it there. Yeah. Like a whiteboard. Uh -huh. Top work! <laughs> we did quite a bit today, eh? I reckon just call it a day. Yeah.